Now we want to present to you a video of one of our brand new creation modes, which we're extremely excited about. We think the fans are going to just go nuts over. Um, it's an extension of GM mode. It's a brand new mode, and it's called WWE Story Designer, and it allows you to create your own stories um, through this interface. Um, as you can see here, there's a calendar. Um, every single show is on a calendar, Raw, SmackDown, ECW, the pay-per-views. Um, you can basically uh, create a, a story that's only one day, like just a Raw episode, or you can create two years worth of stories. Um, and so it's, it's extremely easy. What you do is you just select the story that you want to go ahead and edit. Um, you, select that, um, you select that show, and then um, your two options are going to pop up. Basically, you can add moments, as, not, as many moments as you want per show, um, and you can choose whether you're going to create a scene or a match. We're going to show you the match first. Um, so as you're creating your match, you can choose any match type in the game that you want this match to take place in your story. Um, all of our match types are available. Um, you can choose who's going to compete in this match. So as you're telling your story, if you want particular matchups, you can uh, put that in there. Um, you can even use your created characters as, um, as participants in these stories as well, as you see in the Annihilator there on the right. Um, also very cool, you can change the damage level of the characters going into the matches. So if you just had John Morrison jump backstage in your story, um, you can have the next match be set up so he has full damage on his body. And you're forcing the player who's going to play that story to kind of endure and overcome that. Um, so you're doing a lot of storytelling through the matches, which is very cool. Um, match conditions as well, you can change the difficulty of your matches. If you want to have kind of a boss battle at the end, you want it to be on legend difficulty and make it very hard for the guy, you can do that. Um, you can select what arena you want that match to be in. Um, you can select uh, the win conditions. So if you want to force a user, he has to win that match by submission, you can do that. Or he, he has to lose to progress to the story, you can do that. You can, we have all the tools available for you to go ahead and customize your story, not only through the scenes, but through the matches, which is very cool. Um, you can even set in um, interference, too. If you want a particular superstar to run out during this match, it's kind of a surprise interference, you can set that. Uh, we have, you can have him run in as an ally or an enemy. You can have a guy come in and um, be the kind of the difference maker. Um, so a lot of cool options for setting up your matches in the story. So that's for the matches, but now the cool part is creating your cutscenes. That's what the story is all about, is how you tell your story. So we have this brand new cutscene creator um, that has tons and tons of options, and it's very cool. We're going to show you this now. Um, as you see, it's this on-the-fly interface where you're creating your cutscene as you go and showing you your choices that you're making as you go. Um, as you see, you can change animation, location, uh, we're going to do location here. So this animation, you can change in any location. We have, I think, over 20, 30 locations in the game. And just seamlessly pick a different location for that scene to take place. Um, you can change the casting in your scenes. So you can have you know, um, three, four guys in there. You can change who's in that um, scene. Um, very easy. It loads right up. Um, and you can create your scenes with the casting there. Um, then we have these advanced settings. You can um, trim the length of your scenes. You can add text all your scenes to tell your stories, dialogue writing. Um, you can add emotions to your, to your superstars if you want them to be smiling or angry. Um, you can add camera angles, all, all of these different options we have in there. We're going to show a couple of these now. Uh, first one is text. So um, you can enter in text to tell your stories. That's how you're going to do your dialogue. Um, and we have this keyboard here. You can actually use a real keyboard or with your controller and enter in your text and it'll pop up right there as you're doing your stories. Um, you can also change the emotions, like I said. We're going to make JR um, smile here. You'll see um, throughout the scene in the different segments, the throw, he'll show his pearly whites. Um, or you can even make, make him sad in the scene. We'll go ahead and show that. <laughs> um, so it gets pretty, pretty insane with the amount of customization, but our hardcore fans are going to go nuts with this. Um, we're going to be able to leverage our fan base to create these amazing stories with all this detail, uh, and they're going to be able to do some amazing storytelling. See the camera here, you can, we have a free cam, you can get any shot you want. That really makes each scene look completely different. Uh, we have set cameras too, if you, if you don't want to get to that level. Um, you can change the movies in the background, if you want a certain movie playing in the background, you can do that. Uh, we have sound effects, um, and then animations, that's the most important part. We have over a hundred animations for you to choose from um, in here. And we're going to show off kind of some of the cool creations you can make with some of these animations right now.
just a little glimpse of the animation. We can even add text or sound effects or anything like that. Those are just the animations, just to give you a little glimpse of the breadth of the amount of animations that we have, um, and just an idea of some of the stories our fans would be able to create. It gets really wild, a lot of cool stuff in there. Some wacky, some traditional. Um, so we're envisioning our fans are going to kind of go nuts with this mode. Um, so next we're going to get into our next uh, creation feature, and it's really more of a community aspect. And uh, what it is is you're able to go ahead and um, share your content online. Um, there's no point in spending hours creating a story if you can't upload it and have someone download it and play it. That's the beauty behind it. And basically what we're doing this year is we're supporting the ability to upload and download any created content in the game for players to use. So we have this community creations option. Um, basically you can go in here, um, you can choose whether you want to upload or download content. Um, very easy to use, very fast. Um, and, you know, the beauty behind this is that all our hardcore fans are going to create all this content and you can just pop on there and you can look for certain stuff that you want and just be able to enjoy that without having to do the creation work. Um, so you see here, um, you can upload or download. We're going to walk through an upload process real quick. Um, so you select upload and then you're going to select what content you want to upload. As you see up there the list, you can do creative superstars, which actually come with the creative entrance that you sent, um, creative finishers, the stories. Um, highlight reels, created entrance movies that you can create with the highlight reel, um, and screenshots. You can see here you can add content for your, um, I mean comments for your, your creations that you're uploading, and you can set keywords for the search for the content you're uploading. If you want to tag the content with certain um, keywords, um, you can do that as well. Um, you simply just hit upload, and it'll upload the content right onto our server. Um, now here's the download process. We have a search engine where basically um, you go on here and you can type in keywords to find the content you want. So if you're looking for a particular legend or a comic book hero or whatever you're looking for, you can go ahead and type in that keyword. You can sort by categories too, like a traditional search engine. If you want to look just for creative finishers or just for stories, you can do that. Um, you can sort by the highest rated, so if you're just looking for the top quality content, you can do that. Um, or just from your friends or whatever it may be, you can um, refine your search with these options. Um, so we're going to go ahead and show just a quick example of how you can just type in a keyword um, and it'll pull up your item and what you can do from that point. Um, so you type in your keyword, we're just going to type in high flyer here just as kind of a generic keyword search. Um, and then it'll just search our entire um, uh, database of all the content that's been posted and, and pull up all the relevant content. So you see here we have the Annihilator. What you can do here is you can view the content before you download to see, hey, am I even interested in checking this out? So we'll hit view here. Um, it will show you the content. You'll be like, you know what, that, that looks pretty cool. I want that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and download that. You can even rate it. You can tell the user what you thought of it. Um, and then you can send that review to um, the server and all that's updated. Um, very, very cool feature. Not a lot of games doing this kind of thing. Uh, we're really proud because we think we're kind of trailblazed with this. Content creation and sharing this um, and with the, the community is, is really key, and so we're excited to do that. We're also just showing some other examples of how you can preview the moves. 